The superintendent of the La Crescent Hoka School District is facing charges of disorderly conduct and domestic assault. News 8 Now's Kate Overton listened in on Eric Martinez's court hearing, and Kate is live in the newsroom with the details. Yeah, that's right. Police arrested La Crescent Hoka Superintendent Eric Martinez early this morning. And after his court appearance, Martinez was released. The charges are still pending, and it's not clear how the school is going to handle the situation. In a heavily redacted report from the Houston County Sheriff's Office, officers say Eric Martinez was the primary aggressor in a physical incident with a woman at his home early Friday morning. The report goes on to say Martinez's actions led to his arrest on possible charges of disorderly conduct and domestic assault. Both are misdemeanors. The incident report says the neighbor who made the 911 call told law enforcement the fight was, quote, good enough to wake him up. Officers booked Martinez into jail and held him there until he made a court appearance Friday afternoon. Minnesota law does not allow cameras in the courtroom or recordings of appearances made by Zoom. News 8 now was allowed to watch the proceedings. Martinez, dressed in an orange jumpsuit, only spoke once, giving an, an attorney permission to speak on his behalf. While law enforcement investigates, the judge released Martinez from jail. He cannot drink alcohol or use controlled substances or enter a bar or liquor store. He must also return to court on December 7th for arraignment. Now, Martinez started as superintendent with La Crescent Hoka District in July. We are still waiting for the district to comment on his arrest. The district did send an email to parents saying the school board is holding an emergency meeting late this afternoon to consider placing Martinez on paid administrative leave. But according to the school's website, that emergency meeting was canceled. All right, thanks a lot, Cade. The statement also goes on to say the school district says they take the safety and security of their students and staff very seriously and have been cooperating with law enforcement in its investigation. News 8 Now will, of course, continue to keep you updated on this case and the district's response.